What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Minaj, and I'm back with another video, okay? So I just want to start off by saying I am terribly sorry that I have not been posting. You know, your girl got a new job, and you would know that if you watched the last Mo Diaries, okay? So, but your girl got a new job, and I've been super, super busy working every day, trying to train and everything, get, every, get the hang of everything. So I'm sorry about that. But... I want to, which you will have another Mo Diaries coming up because your girl has been going through some things as usual. But I just want to get into this um, Midwives Brew video. A lot, I have been getting a lot of questions and I didn't expect the video to blow up like it did. So I kind of want to answer, I answered some questions under the video, but I want to make a video about it, about the questions to go more into detail about it with you guys. So let's pull up these questions and i also i'm uh, gonna address a few more things that people did not ask because honestly it was my first birth like it's probably some of y'all's first birth or y'all first time using this brew so i want to just kind of go more into detail about it so let's start off with the question that's under the video which i got right here um did you end up getting the epidural in the okay no i did not get an epidural i when i was like what i would say I, I was at nine centimeters but it was really more like nine and a half kind of because i was um about to reach 10 centimeters like my they saw my daughter's head so when i was like okay i'm i'm tired of this i want the epidural they saw my daughter's head so i ended up just go ahead and giving birth and couldn't get and the epidural just didn't come but don't think I'm just a soldier. I did give up towards the end, you know. So, but I ended up not getting the epidural. Next. Can you use any kind of juice? Yes, you can use any kind of juice. I, but I don't know. Like, I, I feel like you should just follow the recipe. But you can use any kind of juice. I've been seeing mainly with the recipe they was using um, pineapple juice or what that is. Like a god like agave juice i'm gonna put a picture of something up here probably but i think those were the main two drinks they were using and i think the pineapple juice kind of kind of acts um the almond butter i think someone has said so i guess you can use any kind of juice but i'm the type of person if i wanted to work i'm just gonna go ahead and just stick with the recipe okay so next can i use normal peanut butter instead of almond butter i would not recommend that i had a friend i didn't do this personally because like i said when i first took it it worked for me but i had a friend she tried it with the peanut butter because she wasn't a fan of the almond butter and it did not work for her she also tried the almond butter when i made the recipe for her myself and i made it from my video and it ended up working for her later on so i guess it just depends but yeah also i want to say this i was drinking um labor tea from 23 weeks up until i took the midwives brew which softened my cervix and made my cervix ready to give birth i really truly feel like you should do that if you plan on taking this like especially if it's your first birth i truly feel like you should drink the labor tea from a certain point of time up until before you plan on taking your midwife brew i i, I truly feel like that is the only reason it like 100 percent worked for me like some people it just worked for them but i truly feel like you should drink that labor tea to get your serve especially if it's your first babe to get that cervix ready and soft for you guys okay so definitely do that and then take your uh midwives brew tea and i just don't feel i just don't have a doubt like i feel like it will work 100 percent if you do that next because yeah next question did you drink the tea separately from the brew how did you get it all to fit in one cup I'm asking because I did it before and I just had a bowel movement. Okay. 
I'm I'm gonna answer this question the best I can. And I think that's kind of go in again with what I just said. I drunk the tea. Cause I didn't put a like regular tea in the midwife brew. I put that labor tea in the midwife brew as well. I drunk that, I drunk the tea. I started off with one cup of tea a day. And then after the after the first, that was the first week I started off with one cup of tea. The second week, I started off drinking two cups of tea. And then so on until I was ready to take the brew. And it immediately softened my cervix already for it to give childbirth peacefully, naturally. Okay. So then let me see. Then when I took the brew, I put two cups of tea. Now the tea I had specifically, I put the picture up here. The tea I had specifically was one bag was made two cups of tea right so i put one bag and i put two cups it made two cups of tea so i put two cups in the brew as well and mind you that day so basically i had four cups of tea the day i took the brew because that morning i drunk my two cups of tea and then that night i was like you know f it i'm gonna just try to brew tonight because i'm tired of being pregnant so i took Two cups that morning and two cups for the midwife's brew. Okay, so hope that answers that question. Next, were you dilated before you took it? No, I was not dilated at all. I went to have, I think, what? I went to like my 20 something, I was like, what, 26 weeks or so, I think, when I had my checkup, one of my checkups. So when I went, she said, your cervix is very, very soft for a first time mom. She was not expecting it. I did not tell her I was drinking the tea, y'all. She said my cervix was very, very soft, but I was not dilating it at all. So, and I really, don't make me lie to y'all. I don't know when this appointment was specifically. It, it could have been my 30 week appointment. I don't remember, but I know I was not dilated whatsoever when I took the tea and I'm kid you not after I drunk that tea I was like what four and a half centimeters when I made it to the hospital so your girl you know that tea was moving fast with me this is just a comment I tried this over 24 hours ago in my 41 week mark I can safely say that the only thing it made me do was poop out everything inside me and now I have a terrible headache okay i am so sorry to hear that like i say it does not work for everyone but i highly recommend you start drinking the tea beforehand so you won't really go through none of this and i did not poop like i also recommend this because a lot of people say that they just boo boo from it the day like when i knew i was gonna take that tea i mean i mean not I mean, I mean, when I knew I was going to drink the midwife's brew, y'all, I did not eat anything because I did not want to boo-boo on myself when I gave birth. That's the most, I know it's natural and don't come down, don't come down my throat when I say this, but that's the most embarrassing thing. Your baby daddy and your parents, you know, people, whoever in your delivery room is just looking at you and your video or whatever and you boo-booing on yourself. That's just so embarrassing to me and cringy. Like, don't jump down my throat, y'all, okay? Because I've I been through it, okay? I, well, I didn't go through that, but I done gave birth, so don't jump down my throat. I know it's all natural and that's just what happens, but that's embarrassing. I did not eat anything before I took that brew because I did not want to boo-boo on myself. Um... Okay, this comment says, this works. My baby is now seven weeks old. Congrats, new mom. Um, congratulations. I'm heavily thinking about taking it. Your video helped, really encouraged me. And this says, the almond butter is supposed to con counteract with the castor oil so you don't poop as much, LOL. I'm 39 weeks and four days today with baby number seven and this baby is too comfy in here thinking about trying to brew this week hope it works out okay so those are um some of the questions that were asked but i kind of got more into detail as i answered the questions hopefully um 
some more things in the video I would say <clears throat> I feel like now me I only I took two tablespoons of castor oil and I put two tablespoons of castor oil in the brew so I drunk I took two by itself and then I drunk I took two with the brew as well but a lot of like I felt like that's all I needed because like I say I was drinking the tea beforehand but honestly just like anything in life there are risks you can you everything is a risk to take so the castor oil is a huge risk I took the risk because and like I said again y'all do not jump down my throat I am young of course I would have I would have grieved my child if she was to pass away from that mistake but it all worked out it wasn't a mistake so I I mean I I'm young I can have another child but I'm just grateful that it all worked out for me personally and you know she came out a healthy strong beautiful baby girl but like I say there are risks and I personally feel like if you already took the risk to take to say okay I'm gonna just take the two the four tablespoons of castor oil and it doesn't really work out take it take more like I feel like for everyone the doses really should be different and I I, I don't know I feel like it depends on your weight or something I, I don't I'm not a doctor okay I don't I'm not 100% sure on this, but I feel like everything should be, everybody's doses should be different, honestly. And especially if you just go ahead and like straight going into the brew, like you weren't doing no curb walking or all those little myths that people say are myths and don't work. It worked for me, y'all. I did it. Okay. So curb walk, run, exercise, lift weights, like not heavy weights but lift and do x like do stuff you know what i'm saying like work don't just sit around and not moving like stretching your body i did stretches did all types of stuff to get my body prepared because i did want a natural birth and i did have a natural birth so if you feel like the like if, if you haven't been drinking the tea if you haven't been doing none of those things you might need a little bit more castor oil or a little bit more of, of everything in the brew to get your body really going if you haven't really been prepping your body like i can for my personal experience i can say it 100 percent worked for me because i took the steps in the you know i took action on prepping my body from like 20 weeks on to I, when i gave birth to get my body ready for delivery naturally so that's that's what i can say i wish like this video has been up for months now and i'm grateful for all the traction that it has gotten if you have any more questions you can comment on that video or this video if you feel like i didn't go into too much detail i won't make another video about this but if you have any more questions i will make a short just a quick little three minute quick answer short because I don't know. I'm trying, y'all. I'm just a girl, and this is my first child, my first birth. I'm just sharing my experiences with you guys. So, again, if you have any more questions, comment under this video or that video. I will put the link down to the old the Midwives Brew video in on this under this video, okay? And I also will give you guys um, the links to the products that I use specifically because I do want you guys to have a safe, healthy, natural birth any birth is great because women go through it y'all so any birth you have c-section natural epidural whatever you have water birth, whatever birth you have you are strong and you are beautiful and you are confident you guys and i have faith in you guys birth and deliveries and i hope you guys kids come out so beautiful and healthy okay that's all i'm praying for and asking for okay but anyways, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will be back with another one. You know the Mo Diaries Part 2 is coming up. This is Episode 2 of my new series, Mo Diaries. So please check it out, you guys, because it will be up and the tea is being dropped. Okay? But anyways, bye!